Hey everyone, Difference Maker here. Now today, I'm going to be starting a new show that I'm making. Well, not really a show, but it's called Discussions About Dead by Daylight. Now, this is the first episode talking about, in my opinion, a really big buffs that the plague needs. Now, the plague came out a while ago, like six weeks ago maybe, I don't really know, but she's not very strong. Now, people are arguing about that, how she's even worse than Leatherface. Now, I highly disagree. Yes, Leatherface can insta-down, but Plague, she's not good. At first, she was number 5 on the tier list because of her corrupt purge, but after playing with her again and again, I realized she is not strong at all. She is the most underpowered killer in the game. Now, don't get me wrong, she's not worse than Legion or Freddy, but I'm going to be explaining some buffs that could go to her. For example, let's talk about the first thing that's wrong with her. So for number one, her power does not help her in the chase. It doesn't help her at all. Alright guys, so the plague's power, so if you don't know how she works, I'm going to explain it. So the plague's power is called Vile Purge. Now what Vile Purge does is when you vomit on someone, yes, we have a killer that now vomits, if you don't know this. So if you vomit on a survivor, the survivor will get something called a sickness when... And if they run, do generators, or do anything, their sickness goes up. And when they get fully sick, they get the broken status effect, which means they can't heal back to healthy, and you can down them. But if you vomit on something and they touch it, they get infected. If they're fully infected and they get saved, the person who saved them gets infected. And when they're fully infected, they have to go to a pool of devotion, which is like a fountain, and then heal themselves up. And when they heal, they go back to full health. But now, you can use the fountain to give yourself corrupt purge. What it is, is your vomit turns red, and you can hurt people with your vomit, but you can't infect things. Now, that's how her power works. Now, it sounds great how you can infect people and make them broken, but... Here's the problem with her power. Now, it sounds great how you have, like, it's like Huntress with Corrupt Purge with, like, Unlimited, but it lasts for 60 seconds, and you have to go up to a fountain to use it. Here's the thing. When you get someone infected, it doesn't help you at all. It doesn't even help you win your chase. Now, it sounds great to get someone broken, but if they're broken, I've had a game where they didn't even go to the fountains to heal. Yes. Even though they're in the broken stage, they can still do generators and basically rush your whole game. So, that's another thing. And even if you get them to broken state, they're not going to use the fountains. Because, like, they're not going to use the fountains at all. Because, like, even if they're broken, they can still do generators. There's no negatives to being sick. Okay, for number two, this is going to be my idea of how we can buff her sickness to make it more better. Okay, so, my ideas to buff Plague is that, here's my idea. So, when you vomit on someone, this is going to be a fun one. When you vomit on someone, they'll they'll get the sickness, but when you vomit on them, then they'll throw up. And when they throw up, they get the hindered status effect, which means they'll get slowed down when they vomit. And what happens is there are going to be two sickness levels, kind of like the doctor's madness levels. But how the plague is going to work is, in my opinion, when they get to sickness 1, if their sickness goes all the way up to the first one, they're in sickness 1, which means that their repair, sabotage, healing, cleansing, all their actions are reduced by 25%. So all their action speed is slowed down by 25% when they're sick. Because it makes sense, because you can't do everything faster when you're sick. Then the next thing is they get to sickness 2, which makes it so that if you're in sickness 2, you get the broken status effect and you get the hindered status effect, which means that now you can't heal back to healthy and you're going to be slowed down for the rest of the game unless you go to the fountains to heal. You see, my idea to heal, to fix plague is that you have to give the survivors a reason to heal because 
broken doesn't mean anything. Even though they're broken, they can still do generators. You have to give them a reason to heal. If they make it so that all your action speeds reduce by 25% and they can't run as fast and they can't heal, now they actually have to go to the fountains and heal themselves. Yes, they'll get corrupt purge, but hey, at least you can do your gents faster and you can run faster. Yeah, because that's the thing. Like, I got someone to broken, but even though they're broken, they were still able to vault windows and vault pallets and literally loop me at a wall on the game map. And that was so stupid. They shouldn't be able to run as fast when they're broken. And another thing. Make make her kind of like clown, where if someone vomits, they get slowed down. Like, they get the hindered when they vomit. Because it makes sense, because if someone's pallet whooping you while they're in the full sickness, and they vomit, they should get a penalty for vomiting. Like, they get slowed down. That's, in my opinion, what they should add to make her better. But now, we have to get to the final problem about Plague. Alright, so the final problem with Plague is, her add-ons suck. I mean, they really suck. Okay, now we get to the final problem of Plague. For example, the add-ons suck so much. Now, her add-ons, they're not like the Huntress and Clown. How, like, if you do something, it gives them a satisfaction, satisfaction. No, her add-ons are useless as fuck. Except for two, which are the add-ons that increase the vile purge effectiveness. Which, if you vomit on someone for two seconds, they're automatically broken. Those are her two add-ons. They're only add-ons that are valuable. Very good. But the two ultra rares, god, they go on my list of the worst ultra rare add ons in all of Dead by Daylight because they suck so much. Her add ons are ultra rares are not necessary or should be built into the plague. Like, for example, the black incense ultra rare add on makes it so that when someone vomits, their aura is revealed for five seconds. In my opinion, that should be built into the plague, into her base power, because with every killer she can't track that would be a great tracking tool to be to be able to see people's auras when they vomit which is actually very good then the iridescent seal oh my god it sounds great it sounds great on paper because when a generator gets complete you get corrupt purge but there are too many negatives to make it an ultra rare like for example if you have corrupt purge it moderately decreases your movement speed while you're holding corrupt purge and it tremendously decreases your corrupt purge time so basically you're not even to have corrupt purge that long and you're going to be so fucking slow when you're holding it that is so useless. A way you can buff that add-on is to make it so that you get rid of one of the negatives. You gotta get rid of at least one of those negatives. So that is the worst ultra rare add-on. Horrible add-on. Then the other add-ons are not good. It increases the duration of Corrupt Purge. It, it will, like, um, I don't know, do some stupid shit. They have to make add-ons make it so that if you vomit on someone and they get into sickness one like for example if you vomit on someone they get the exhaustion they get hindered or no they get mangled or hemorrhage make it like trapper or clown or huntress or make it so that when you vomit on someone their repair speed gets reduced or they can't he they can't heal like make some fun add-ons like you did with clown but anyway, those were the problems I had with Plague, and I really hope she can receive some buffs in her long time. So these were my ideas of how we could buff the Plague. And boy, I'll see you in the next video, and you're about to watch me rage quit at the end. See, the video stops at the end, and the reason why was because I actually rage quit that match. Anyway, enjoy my last minutes.